Okay, I'm going to anneal this this box of 6.5 brass. It's already been processed. This is uh, once fired, getting ready to be loaded into second fired. I'm going to do it on my homemade annealing machine. It's a pretty cool device and uh, you have lots of benefits from annealing your brass. And as reloaders, we are supposed to do the best we can to make this stuff the best we can, as, as good as we can, or otherwise we're just kind of wasting money. Note, when you do this, you have to have a form of exhaust because you are burning propane in a closed space. I'm running off of a five gallon tank. And uh, okay, here we go. try to get it as dark as I can in here start the torch turn the machine on I'm gonna do one where we're running just a little too slow just to show you what not to do Note, I've stolen my wife's hot pad. Let's, let's back the speed down to 28. Let's, well, hell, we'll go 26, that's fine. First thing we gotta do is identify that the flame is gonna hit this in the right spot. So, here goes, picks up the piece of brass. Need to be just a little hotter. See how that brass is turning red? That's overcooked. <coughs> You're making the brass thin and uh, not accomplishing anything. Let's adjust the heat up here. Turn this up to 32 because that's where I like to kneel it. <coughs> you want to try to get the brass right before it turns red to drop out of this pan so here we go I built this annealer for $135 for absolutely everything. And note, sometimes you'll get a little bit of a thinner case and you'll note that it just kind of turns red right before it drops like that one did right there. That's okay because you're not overcooking it.